Good morning, this is uh, Evan Bookbinder here, May 18th, uh, going to go through as promised and try to take some videos on the more valuable sets of the collection uh, that I'm selling off here. Um, a lot of the stuff, as you can see, has gone sight unseen, but uh, I certainly respect the fact that at the larger values, people really want to know what it is they're getting. Um, let me see, uh, 18 years ago, I guess, is when we first completed... Uh, a pair of these and I certainly had a set back in the, the mid uh, 90s um, anyways I think you'll see that uh, this particular revised set uh, presents itself very well a lot of the cards in here even at that age you can just tell by the crispness of the corners went straight uh, packed to sleeve and you'll find that to be the case of most of my sets it just really depends on the card a lot of the stuff featured here would probably never have been used in a in a deck um you know balance certainly had a cool balance deck back in the day but it looks uh pretty good but we'll go through these page by page and you know bear with me here for the next uh few minutes this is gonna take a while there are two sets here so the backs of what you're seeing are actually the backs of the second card Tim. Am I the only one who's OCD that hates that? The card counts for each color did not end in a number divisible by nine to fill a page. Ah, back in the day, we used to play for Andy. And to think of the cards that were won and lost back in that day that... Oh, man. Definitely say that um, I'm probably going to need to separate out the, the pricing for this set. I had just kind of gone through and assumed average condition for everything uh, across the board. That way nobody would be disappointed. If anything, they'd be pleasantly surprised. But I think it's clear that the, the set on top here is really in exceptional condition. And looking at some of the backs, 
Um, the second set was perhaps a little more uh, moderate, light to moderate play on occasion. Hated opening packs and getting those laces. I started this could have been traded for moxes all day. How many of you remember the first rare you opened out of a pack? Because that was mine. That was pretty awesome. And the second pack was a volcanic island. So I was pretty happy. I also wonder how many people stick with the game versus not based on the contents of the first few packs that they ever open, if that makes a difference at all. Yikes. Not a very valuable card at all, but rocket launcher? <laughs> Interesting. Generally, over the years, um, stuff that's in really bad shape, I mainly just threw away and tried to get better copies of it. So, I mean, <laughs> it costs you about a dollar to get a new one of those. Uh, 
Um, so I'm kind of in a bit of predicament here. Um, I actually have a 40 dual land playset, but some of those would require me to take dual lands out of my second set of revise. So I may, after I run some numbers here, opt to not sell the second set of revise and rather sell the immensely more valuable 40 dual set and then sell the remainder of the set of revised. Was it 306 or, you know, whatever, minus, minus the 10. So anyways, there you have it. Um, gosh, almost 11 minutes. So I'd be more than happy to throw in a couple of these wrappers too. So we'll get this uploaded here and with you momentarily. Thanks for watching.